So in my Facebook group for mompreneurs, there was a question about embedding pins on a blog and she wanted to know how to do that. All right, so just to let you know, if you have a WordPress blog, that's wordpress.org blog, then I can show you, okay? Because I don't know about Squarespace or Wix or wordpress.com. I don't know if you can do that, okay? so. All my blogs are wordpress.org. So I'm gonna show you how to embed pins and show you what it's all about, okay? So over on my SpongeX niche blog, I do this the most, all right? I don't do this much for Twins Mommy or my main freelancing site or my other blogs that I have. For some reason, I don't know why, I think with a visual niche, which this is home decor, I needed pictures and I didn't wanna be reliant on stock photos. Plus, I mean, mainly because, you know, it's just gonna look like every other blog post out there with using free stock photos. Even if you use a paid one, I use deposit photos. I have a subscription to deposit photos. And I do like uh, this one here. The feature images are usually a deposit photo photos that I have. But within my blog post, I want to uh, show exactly what I'm talking about. And the only way I can do that is with pins. I can't find the exact table. Or, like For example, this is about coffee table arrangement ideas. It was very hard for me to find on deposit photos, a really detailed coffee table arrangement. Of course, I can use something like Jasper AI art, mid journey. There are lots of other types of generative art platforms that you can use to get the picture that you want, but I just didn't want to spend that time. So I do the best with a deposit photo. And then within my blog post, I have embed images from Pinterest. So in this one, clever laundry closet ideas, I show you what I'm talking about. So make the most of vertical space. And this is what I wanted to show you. And then I might have install shelves because in this pin, you see shelves right here. And so I have an affiliate link that shows a similar getup of what this shelving system is. So I try to find a pin that will match out with the affiliate link that I'm looking for. So even though this may not be pull out drawers, although I think these are, I had to go in to make sure that these are pull out drawers. I found a product to link to that are slide out shelves. If I can't find a pin, well then I'll just use the, you know, Amazon or whatever platform that I'm using the image that they have for the product. But I try overall to be authentic enough to have like the actual pin. How do you do this? How do you get these pins in your blog post? So I'll show you two ways and then we can talk about other platforms and see if we can embed those as well. All right, so these are the posts in the back end of my wordpress.org site. Let's just add a new one and let's title this, you know, 45. So 45 ways to decorate your living room. You're small, let's do small living room. All right, I'll have my introduction and then my first subheading, a small living room ideas, an intro to that, and then I'll do my one. And from here is where I'll find the exact pin that I wanna use. So over on Pinterest, I can just type in living room ideas for an apartment since those are usually small. And then I like to find pins that don't have words in them so that you're only focused on the actual picture. And I also like to find pins that aren't affiliated with an actual company like Wayfair, Pier One, Target, Walmart, things like that, Amazon. So it can take me some time to find the exact photo that I want. Like here's one for Ikea, things like that. I don't wanna put shopping pins. Another one here from like Wazo Furniture. So all right, so this is a nice one. I mean, Rock Solid Rustic could be a company, but I like how it's just very plain and simple like that. I have another one here from just a person that's YouTube and that's fine too. That's Etsy, here's just home decor. So it doesn't really go into anything, it just links to the image. That's a nice pin too. The first way you can do that is just to copy the whole pin URL, just copy that, and then just have a title. And then underneath your heading, you just paste it. And it should generate your pin. If it doesn't, 
then for some reason it can't embed that pin. For some reason, it may not just have that option. The other way you can do that is if I like this one here, I can click on the three dots and go to get pin embed code. If I want a large pin or an extra large, whatever size you want, you just copy it like this. Copy, go back to your blog, get an HTML blog, paste it and preview it. And there you go, you can do it this way as well. So those are the two methods that I use. I can just embed it just like that. I'm sure there's like an embed right here. You can embed from Pinterest too. So you can also just do this as well. So if you have the pin, if we go and find a different picture, we'll take in the, the URL as well, and then just drop it there and then embed. That works as well. All right, so those are, I guess, three different ways you can embed your pin. Now, what about Instagram? Can you do Instagram? Let's find out. All right, so if we go to Instagram here and we search for living room ideas, small living room ideas, and we see something like this. Let's copy the URL and let's paste it and see what happens. So it drew up this embed URL and it says embed and it won't embed that. So it converts to a link which is just a link on your thing. So with Instagram, I don't do too often because of this challenge. So what I end up doing then is just taking a screenshot and then attributing it and linking it. So I'll take a screenshot of that, grab the link, talk about halfway whole in, holistic here in my thing. So I'll say, you know, halfway holistic shows that yada 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 and then put the image like that and then link to it open a new tab and do that so it's optimizing it right now but that's the way if you can't embed an actual image from instagram you can do that it's not the best blogging practice in all honestly i mean give it as much attribution put it in your content put a caption with this the name of the instagram like you have to give it credit where credit is due because these are her own pictures and so you want to give as much credit as possible but i wouldn't do this too often i would rely on pinterest because you can just use the actual pin here okay instead of doing what i'm doing for instagram so you can see here with the number two large option it gave me this wonky size which is interesting so i would probably do the small size to get the full pin image but i mean again it's your style if you want to make this as a feature image right when we clicked on the three dots then this could be a feature image and then underneath you would just write whatever you want to write so here you know, so it's something like that. And then you can just use that as a, like a sort of subheading feature image to do it this way. But like I said, in my blog post, I like to just have it like that. It's nothing that fancy. It tells people what it is and it does a good job with, you know, just slapping it in your blog post like this. It's clean and it's easy to do i like to do it this way and plus it just gives attribution you can save it yourself you can click on the pin and go to it lots of great stuff there those are the ways you can embed a pinterest pin into your blog post and we looked at instagram instagram's a little bit tricky so i wouldn't use instagram so much um, you can take a screenshot of what you want, but make sure you attribute it as much as you can in your blog post link to the source, in your caption link to the source, do as all that you can to link to the source. But in all honesty, I stopped doing that practice. I was able to embed Instagram URLs into my blog post, but I think Instagram stopped that. So there might be some workarounds that I don't know technically. So this would be sort of the easiest way to do that. But you just need to cover your butt basically so that you know, you're not stealing any photos from Instagram. You don't wanna do that. You wanna give credit to where credit is due for that. All right, I hopefully that helped you. Let me know in the comments below if you do know how to do different ways to embed your pins or a, a safe ethical way to embed URL photos let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, hopefully this video helped you out. And I'll see you in the next video.